Well, there's a new C-word controversy about Trump. This time it's not Samantha B using that awful four-letter word against Ivanka Trump. It's much of the mainstream media using this word against Donald Trump, cult. They say that the Republican Party has become a Trump cult, and they are saying it over and over and over again. And think about that for a minute. Uh, that word, what it conjures up, it's something spooky and mysterious, and you got to be kind of brainless to go along with it. With it. Uh, and so what's happened is, I'll just read you some of these headlines and some of these sound bites. This has become the media's new favorite word for describing the Republican Party in the age of Donald Trump. Uh, so uh, Washington Post headline on Tuesday, Republicans embrace the, quote, cult of Trump, ignoring warning signs. Doesn't sound like a good thing. Joe Scarborough on Morning Joe. Why don't we just say it's devolved into a cult? Primary voters in the Republican Party, says Joe, have devolved into a Trumpist cult. On Hardball, uh, Chris Matthews even brought up pretty infamous cult, Jonestown, where people ended up killing themselves. Um, and, you know, a lot of people are attributing this to Bob Corker. This is, of course, is the retiring Tennessee senator who has clashed repeatedly with Trump. Trump's opposition is a factor in his decision not to run again. And you've probably seen this clip where he's standing talking to reporters in the hallway and he says, well, it kind of seems like it's a Trump, it's a cultish thing, isn't it? Now, it's fine for the press to say, Bob Corker says cult, um, but I think it's moved beyond that uh, where the media are kind of putting it in their own headlines and adopting it as their own term. And by the way, long before uh, Senator Corker said this, the media were still using it. I went into uh, the archives a bit, poked around, and I found the New York Times, an editorial, last week, the cult of Trump. And then there was, uh, back in February, Axios, the website, reported on the cult of Trump. And then last year, National Journal had a piece titled, Trump's Cult Overwhelms the GOP. Now, so you see what's happening here is, uh, by using this sort of creepy term, the idea is that um, people are just mindlessly following this cult leader, you know, off a cliff. It's certainly not an approving term of art. Now, I don't disagree with the underlying analysis. I've talked about this to you yesterday. It is true that most Republicans are now going along with many of uh, President Trump's more controversial positions. Some of them are just acquiescing or they're afraid to speak out. They're afraid they'll suffer the fate of Mark Sam uh, uh, Sanford and lose their primaries. This is on issues like immigration, the wall, uh, Kim Jong-un. Uh, Vladimir Putin and dealings with Russia. So it's perfectly fair to point out that Republicans are either uh, have either changed their positions on a lot of things to align with the president or are too scared to challenge the president. And then even public opinion among a lot of rank and file Republican voters has moved as well in the Trump direction. That does happen when you're the leader of the party. Uh, I went into the Wayback Machine. There were very few references to the cult of Obama, though, of course, you know, uh, in 2008, he was the great hope and change candidate with the inspiring oratory. And when it did come up, it tended to be people on the right decrying the cult of Obama. So you see what's going on here. It's not uh, that it's uh, off limits to talk about how the Republican Party is falling into line under Donald Trump. But when you call it a cult, clearly you are disapproving. You are saying these people are lemmings. You are saying that they can't think for themselves, that they're engaging in strange, maybe occult practices. You really are kind of thumbing your nose at the entire Trump phenomenon, which many journalists didn't understand during the campaign, still don't understand uh, the president's appeal, at least in part of the country now, don't, disagree, don't agree with many of his policies, and don't like his confrontational style. So they're calling it a cult, and I'm calling that blatantly unfair.